Five home remedies for Balinians naturally. Balinians have been quite a nation among Balinians dances and common folks on general. Balinians are common in less of year two and most people refer to the doctors when it comes down to Banyan. This is a common thing and if the treatment is considered too late to be treated normally, however, there are things you can do to heal Banyan before they get worsome. Homemade Banyan remedies can save the day and there is no need for complicated procedures in healing them. For complicated procedures in healing them. Don't forget to like, share and comment on the video. Also subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon for more updates. Number one is chamomile. Chamomile is a popular and effective herbal remedy that can provide the relief from the banyan issues. It has anti-inflammatory properties that help to reduce the pain and inflammation. It may even shrink the banyan. You can try any of these remedies for a combination of them. Brew a cup of the tea using a chamomile or a tea bag and sip it while it is still warm. Also put these used tea bags directly onto your banyan and use this home treatment for three to four times a day. Besides the affected area with chamomile. Number two is calendula. Another effective herbal treatment for the banyan is calendula and known as marigold. This herb has anti-inflammatory properties and uh, that can help to reduce the pain and inflammation. It even prevents the formation of the cones and calluses on the affected area. Gently crush some calendula leaves with your hands to extract the juice. Apply the juice on the affected area and allow it to dry on its own. Repeat to two to three times daily. Alternatively, you can also buy cal Number three is aspirin. Aspirin with socks that you use to treat the headache can also alleviate the discomfort associated with bunions. It can reduce the swinging pain from the inflamed area, plus it keeps the affected area soft to prevent the cones and calluses. Dissolve two to three aspirin in a small tub filled with lukewarm water. Soak the affected foot in the solution until the water becomes cold. Pat your foot dry and massage with warm olive oil. Repeat once or twice daily to reduce the pain and always do a patch test before trying this herb. Number 4 is proper footwear. To minimize your the chances of developing a banyan as well as reduce the need for allergy or surgery if you already have one. Pay attention to your footwear. Always opt in for the footwear with wide front, broad toes and soft soles. Use padded shoe inserts to help to distribute pressure eventually when you move your feet. If you have a banyan opt-in for shoes with a wide and deep shoe area, sandal as a good choice. Do not wear shoe with heels higher than two and half inches. Do not wear high heel shoes for longer than three hours at a time. Choose footwear that confirms you to shape your feet. Never force your foot into a shoe that doesn't fit. Along with shoes, avoid tight putting socks or stocking. Remove your shoes periodically during the day to give your feet a break. 5. Anti-inflammatory food to curb pain and inflammation associated with banyans. It is essential to keep an eye on what you are eating. Many people have anti-inflammatory properties that can help to prevent and combat the inflammation, while others contribute to the inflammation in the body. Some anti-inflammatory foods include olives, salmon, ginger, turmeric, garlic, Tart cherries, strawberries, blueberries, walnut, and sweet potatoes. Try to eat some of these foods daily. At the same time, avoid foods that promote the inflammation. Such foods include dried meat, processed meat, refined meat. Additional tips If a banyan is present and becomes inflamed, keep the affected foot elevated for 15 minutes every other hour. Acupuncture can be useful in treating the symptoms of banyan. After washing your feet, make sure to dry the area between the two walls. And if you have corns, and use over-the-counter corn plaster to get rid of them quickly. Always ensure that the children's footwear is properly fitted. Try over-the-counter are supposed to get the relief from the symptoms. If your doctor has prescribed some specific orthopedic devices, use them accordingly. Don't forget to like, share, and comment on the video. Also subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon for more updates.